I want to die like 91 with hookers and cocaine around me. A controversial police training convention is coming to Central Florida. We've learned it's already banned in several states. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Justin Mormuth in for Matt Austin. New Six's Treasure Roberts joins us now live in studio. And Treasure, tonight you heard from the man behind the training. Yeah, Justin Ginger, he's the founder and CEO of something called Street Cop Training. His conference starts Sunday at the Gaylord Palms Resort in Kissimmee. It'll spend five days with multiple presentations, including a leadership seminar by Brevard County Sheriff Wayne Ivey. A warning, some of what you're about to hear is disturbing. The controversial training has been prohibited in nine states, including New Jersey, where the company founder, Dennis Benino, was once a street cop. The New Jersey comptroller says that video is from the 2021 Atlantic City Conference. It shows Benino talking about people who record police interactions. Last year, the state comptroller said the company taught unconstitutional policing tactics, describing the conference as lewd, disparaging, and glorifying violence. I love fighting. I love shooting. I emailed Benino about the training. He wrote, I can 100% assure you that for over 12 years, this company has provided some of the best training offered to law enforcement nationally. And then this next one is especially awful. African-American complaints hold less weight as they are known to be criminals. This viral video appears to show alleged slides from a street cop training conference. I asked Benino about it and he said these slides that you speak of are fabricated. That is not from our organization. I assure you that this organization, while being painted as some awful group, has done miraculous things for the law enforcement profession. Central Florida law enforcement agencies are moving with caution, though. Orlando police and Volusia County deputies won't be attending the conference. The Orange County Sheriff's Office said they're aware of the past concerns about the program. They plan to send two members of their training section to assess whether it is professional. Training is the most important component of any law enforcement agency and for officers to receive the proper training is more critical today than it ever was before. I asked News 6 law enforcement analyst Orlando Rolone for his thoughts. One of the speakers at the training session said, I watched this car come off the highway and I, I f the sh out of the female driver. She doesn't want to f me back. Though. Is that appropriate? Absolutely not. I mean, that is uh, totally uncalled for, totally inappropriate and should never be, even if the person thought they were joking, that should never be part of any curriculum where our law enforcement officers are exposed to uh, in a situation like that. For the officers who do plan to go to this training this weekend, what do you want them to keep in mind individually? I can only hope that those officers will basically uh, stand to the test of what they have signed up for, which is to serve and protect and to do so with honor. Orlando Rolone, a former police chief, says the state or law enforcement profession should create standards that must be applied for entities providing police training and conduct a thorough vetting process. The founder of Street Cop Training said much more about this conference. You can see his full statement on our website at clickorlando.com. Ginger. Definitely eye-opening. Treasure Roberts, thank you.